Hey guys, welcome back to Triple L Rustic Designs. I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving with their families. Today we are here at the sawmill, and if you follow me over here, I'll show you what we'll be cutting today. So this is a monkey puzzle log. This log is actually from the same monkey puzzle tree that we cut down a while back. We made a full YouTube video about it and it has over 2 million views. So if you haven't seen it yet, I highly recommend you check it out. You'll find the link to the video in the description below this video. So monkey puzzle has really cool grain on the inside. So I'm super excited to see what this log looks like on the inside. So I'm gonna jump on the tractor and put it up on the sawmill. All right, I have the log up on the sawmill. This log is actually pretty long. It's just over 13 feet long, but we have customers coming to the shop all the time asking for 12 foot long slabs. So I think this will be really good and people love monkey puzzle. So I'm gonna cut these into nine quarter slabs and I think I should get about five or six really nice slabs at this log. So let's fire up the sawmill.
right, just made the first two cuts. I'm gonna get that top piece out of there and check out this first slab. It should look pretty cool. Let's see, get this one. Whoa. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Flip. Yep. All right. Got some soft spots down here. A few voids. Nothing a little epoxy can't fix. Some spalting down here. It's not bad for the first slab. We did wait a little bit too long to cut into this log. As you can see, there's some spalding and some bug activity, but I'm hoping the deeper we get into the log, we get a little bit more solid wood. So now I'm gonna have to flip the log over before I can make my next cut. But before I do that, I'm gonna get this slab off of here. Weird. Ready? Yeah. Oh, nice. This one looks a little bit better. Good. You can still see spalding and bug activity. There's a bug right there actually, but looks like it's getting a little bit better. We got, ooh, I just touched one. Have some nice coloring here. I think it's just gonna keep getting better and better. So this is a wood boring grub that turns into a wood boring beetle. And if you don't cut your logs fast enough, these little guys will tear up the inside of your logs. Also in Florida, if you don't cut your logs fast enough, the weather will get to it and kind of ruin it as well. And speaking of, it's just starting to rain. So I'm gonna get back to the log and cut some more slabs.
Just finished up cutting the log. We got some really nice straight cuts today. We are using the four degree double hard blade from Woodmiser. If you guys need any blades for your shop, I highly recommend you check out Woodmiser. Head over to their website and get yourself some. All right, so I'm gonna grab these slabs off the sawmill. Hmm. Hmm. We're gonna see what they look like. I think these are gonna be better than the first two. Okay. Oh, set it? Okay. Yep. Yeah. Are we setting it? Okay. No. Okay. And we're going to flip. Nope. Nope, just take over. Okay. There's another grub. Ooh. Oh, nice coloring in there. Got some cool activity going on in here. As you can see over here, this is the spalding that I was talking about. It's still nice solid wood. Uh, once we get these in the kiln fully dried, we'll kill all the bugs. These make some really beautiful slabs. All right, I have the water hose. I'm gonna spray the slab down right here so you guys can see its true color. Oh wow, this is a beautiful slab actually. We got a big rub over here, down at the end. Is that his pinchers? Yeah, the face. Oh my God. <gasps> Poor guy. I chopped him. All right, so this lab is actually really cool. Um, because of the spalting, it has a lot of unique colors in it that Monkey Puzzle doesn't usually have. But Monkey Puzzle is cool in itself, but this is actually really interesting. You can see all down here, has a lot of the black, black or dark color, and it runs almost all the way through the log down to the end here. We have bug activity on both ends, but I kind of just think it gives it a little bit more character, makes it a little bit more unique, and that's what people are looking for when they come to our shop. So I'm excited about these slabs, and I think they'll sell well. Slippery. All right. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. We got five really nice 13 foot slabs out of that monkey puzzle log. I think we're gonna end up joining two of them together to make a really nice table size huge slab so i'm excited for that but these are going to turn out beautiful once they're dried and finished if you guys like this video make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for future videos we'll see you in the next one